The monuments of Orkney have fascinated people for millennia, and one of the most enigmatic of them all is Mays Howe Chambered Tomb. Mays Howe is older than Stonehenge and most of the pyramids of Egypt. Its construction is deceptively complex. The mound itself is about 35 metres across and 7 metres high. The way that Maze High was built gives us a clue as to what was important to the people who built it. The entrance passage is 10 metres long and constructed using Caithness flagstone. It leads to a central chamber. Three smaller chambers feed out from the main area with raised platforms which may have been used to hold human remains. The incredible ingenuity and skill of the stonemasons, engineers, architects, mathematicians and astronomers becomes clear when you consider that some of the stones used weigh more than 20 tonnes and had to be cut with nothing more than wood, bone or stone tools. It's possible that the large stones seen at the corner of the main chamber were standing stones brought to the site from elsewhere and the tomb built around them as they do not support the roof and serve no structural purpose. The tomb lay dormant for millennia until the 12th century AD when Norsemen and Viking crusaders took shelter there in a snowstorm during which they carved runes into the walls. The gently sloping passage into the tomb is carefully aligned so that the sunset during the winter solstice in December shines straight down it and illuminates the rear wall and central chamber. During the spectacle, the sun's rays align with another standing stone 800 metres away, known as the Barnhouse Stone. This continues for the three weeks surrounding the solstice before it fades away to begin the same pattern the following year. <laughs>